Hey everybody, Sean Gavin, RHG Products. Uh, I'm talking today about inline pressure gauges. <clears throat> As you can see here, this inline pressure gauge reads 0 to 160. It's liquid filled. It's mounted to an inline T fitting. So, simply connect your water line here and here, and the gauge will give you a reading. Now, gauges are important because uh, many times when you're trying to troubleshoot a system, uh, you'll need to know the inlet pressure. If the inlet pressure is too low on an RODI system, you're going to get uh, poor water quality from a production standpoint out of the unit. So your production will be lower, your gallons per minute. So if you have one of these in line and you're trying to deal with tech support of any type, uh, trying to figure out what is going on with your system, if you have adequate pressure, you can rule out the pressure issue. If you have low pressure, then you know that that might be part of the problem. So these are real simple to install. Most systems on the market are uh, plumb with this uh, tubing type stuff. This is half inch, they call it. This is definitely on nearly everything we do here at uh, Tucker. To install this in line on a, on a line like this, you want this before, you want the, the gauge before your RO, your reverse osmosis membrane. So that way when the RO is in production mode, you get in the back pressure on the gauge, you can see what the incoming pressure is. So you can put this before your pre-filters, uh, your sediment or your carbon or anything like that, or you can put it after your pre-filters and uh, before your RO. But you definitely want it before the RO. And the other thing that uh, you could do is you can put one before your pre-filters and one after. So if you put it before the pre-filters, it will tell your incoming water pressure. After the pre-filters, it will read the water pressure after your pre-filtration. And so that's important if you see a big pressure drop between the two, then you know your pre-filters need changed because they're clogged. If you swap that out, put a new one in, your gauges in line there should read close to what uh, the first one does. So if you've got 50 PSI coming in, if you've got good flow through your pre-filters, you should be right about 50 PSI coming out of the pre-filters. But most systems are only going to need one of these, uh, and it will help you with just about anything you run into. So how to install it. So let's assume this is a line going from my carbon pre-filter to my RO on my system. Simply cut the tube where you want the pressure gauge to go. So now you've got disconnected line here. And it's simple. It just push fits. So pushes on here, pushes on here. That completes your hose again, so you can see that. And now when you run your water through here and you build up your back pressure with your RO, you'll get a reading on your gauge. These are available from us at rhgproducts.com. And nice little uh, thing to have on your system so that you can understand what the pressure coming in is. Thank you very much.